It's Beth Holloway, and she has returned to Aruba, the Caribbean island where her daughter Natalie disappeared 17 years ago on spring break. With Beth is TV personality Nancy Grace, and police in Aruba want to know what they're up to. We weren't filming. It looks like you guys have a run-in with the authorities right there at the hotel. I would call it more than a run-in. That's not a brush with the law. They wanted to arrest us. They wanted to arrest Natalie Holloway's mother. Why do you think that is? They don't want any bad PR, public relations, about Aruba. Summer is coming up. It's spring break right now. They want to welcome everybody in. Nancy Grace and Beth are working together on a TV series, A Natalie Holloway Investigation, now airing on Fox Nation. I can see how small it is. They should have had this solved in literally 24 hours. Natalie Holloway, a wholesome Alabama teen, disappeared while on spring break with her high school class in 2005. Her body has never been found. The chief suspect in the case remains Joran Vandersloot, a local party boy. A predator who preyed on American teenage girls Jorn Vandersloot, may he rot in hell. After all these years, how, how flabbergasting is it to you that they were unable to solve this crime? I'm not flabbergasted. I'm embarrassed that law enforcement did not do their duty. They did not put Jorn Vandersloot behind bars for murder. Vandersloot is currently in prison in Peru, convicted for the murder of a 21-year-old woman in a hotel room. Nancy and Beth's investigation ended with new information on the timeline of Natalie's death. I just fell to my knees. No closure, perhaps, but Beth says she has found peace. Natalie was with God, and that her Heavenly Father wrapped his loving arms around her, and he cared for her through whatever ordeal she encountered that night. Joran Vandersloot has never been charged in connection with Natalie's disappearance. All episodes of a Natalie Holloway investigation are now streaming on Fox Nation.